science has a big problem. Researchers do not speak directly to the public. Most Americans don't understand the basic working process of science, and many cannot name a single researcher or scientist, much less a female scientist or a scientist of color. The public doesn't have the privilege of stepping into the lab either, and much of the discussion that makes up the bulk of scientific output is locked between behind paywalls or jargon-filled academic journals. In the middle of all of this complexity, researchers have to actually do their research every day, producing results that are often difficult to interpret. The first time I set foot in a neuroscience lab, I listened dumbfounded as brilliant scientists dissected a research article, tore it apart, and built it back up again into a more coherent narrative that they could integrate into their own research. And a light bulb went off. This was how science worked. It was a conversation, it was a debate, and it was messy. So how do we open up this debate that happens amongst the brilliant and smart scientists and researchers all over the world to the public in simple terms without dumbing it down? What if scientists, engineers, and medical researchers could tell powerful science stories? They would develop audiences not just of other scientists or experts, but of the public. And if they learned how to translate the work that they know so well into understandable terms, then the public could weigh in on how we prioritize research. If we all could have a more informed conversation about the ethics of research that will change our shared future, then we would all be in a better place. We are forging those new communication pathways between scientists and the public. We train scientists to become expert science storytellers. If we are all going to be part of the conversation about how we solve the hard problems of the next century around climate change, global poverty, and health, then we all have to be part of the conversation.